Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for May 21st. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving pointing digits Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some arrows in the grid. These are a little complicated. Um, a digit in the arrow, let's say this is a three, um, four is in the example, but just to be different. Whatever digit is in this cell, because there's an arrow, the arrow is telling us that that digit also appears that many cells away. So one, two, three, there's another three here. Um, if this had been a four, then that would say this is a four because that's one, two, three, four cells away. And those are the rules. Um, there could be additional copies of that digit, um, say here. If this were a three, this could be a three, this could be a three, and there's also a three here, say. Um, but that's that's what the rule requires, is that there is a digit matching it that many cells away. So where to start on this? Um, some of the cells, some of the arrows are very restricted just because they're pointing toward the edge of the grid, and they're very close to the edge of the grid. So what can this be? Well, there's only one more cell away from that. So this has to be one pointing at another one. And we can do that for all of these uh, arrows that are very close to the grid. That's gonna give us our last one in the middle. Are there any others like that? This is close to the grid. It could be one or two, but we've already placed one. So this must be two with a two, two away from it. Same for this one. Uh, same for this one. And don't think we have the, yeah, we don't have the same type of arrow up here. So a little symmetry break. Uh, but let's look at our twos and see what we have left. Uh, the two in this box can only go here because there's a one in the way in these twos. So that's two. One of these is two, and this is the only place for this two. Um, what I was gonna say is we can rule two out of this cell anyway, because we can't put another two here. That would break. Uh, so this is two, this is two. All right, this one now, it could be one, two, or three, but we've already got one and two uh, taken care of. So this is three with a three, three cells away. This one also is three with a three. And this one. Am I missing any threes? I don't think so. All right, this can't be one, two, or three. It must be four. That's placed. Um, this could be, this arrow could be one, two, three, four, five but it sees one, two, three, and four, so this must be five. This arrow could be one, two, three, four, five. It sees one, two, and three, but it could still be four or five. Uh, well, I'd say that. It can't be five for a different reason this time. Um, it could be four here. Five would need a five in this cell, but we already have a two. So that is four. This one can't be one, two, three, because there's four here and also three in the box. Four because there's one in the way. So this must be five as well. This one can't be one, two, three, four. It sees a four here and here. Could be five, could be, uh, can't be five. There's a five down here, must be six. And now we just have one arrow left. So let's think about what this can be. Can't be one and two. Um, in addition to there being a one and two already in the box, if we tried to make this a two, we would end up with a two in the same box anyway. So from the very beginning of the puzzle, this couldn't have been one or two. Can't be three, can't be four, can't be five because it would require a five in the same box. Can't be six because of this six here and can't be eight because of five in the way. So this actually is forced to be a seven. And that is all of the clues. And now we're just left with classic Sudoku. 
Uh, twos are done, and ones were done. Three. Three must go here in this box because of the one in the way. That's going to place three here and here. Don't have as many fours, but we do need a four there. And this four means four here, and that means four here, that means four here. So these are all resolved. Uh, five must go here in this box. Uh, in this box, it can't go in any of those cells, so this is five. And then this is five, and this is five, and this is five. Should be all the fives. Six, we don't have as much information on. Um, but in this box, the only place it can go is here. It's in one of these. One of these. It's going to keep highlighting these. Um, it can't go here because of this six, and it can't go here because six is in one of these cells, so it must be here. Uh, that means in this box it's in one of these. Let's see where it's limited now. Okay, this row, it can't go here. It can't go here because six is in one of these. It can't go here, so this must be six. That's going to leave us with... Ah, six must go in one of these, so it's not here. So this is six going to leave us with these as our remaining places for six. Uh, seven. We have two sevens. In this box, it can't go in either of those cells. Seven's in one of these. Seven has to go here in this box. Seven's in these. Uh, that means in this row, the only place it can go because of these sevens is here. Here, sevens in one of these, 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 these. Fun little pattern that we can't resolve yet. All right, we only have a single eight and nine, um, but this row is now almost done. So that's a nine. This must be an eight. This must be a nine. This must be a nine. So we have a six eight pair down here. Uh, these are 6 and 9. These are 7 and 8. That means this is going to be a 9. Actually, we can see that from the column. Um, 9 here is in one of these cells. Not seeing it yet. Oh, this column. 7 must go here and 9 must go here because of this 9. Uh, that makes that an 8, 7, 8. This is a 6 because of the 9 here. And now this is 8, 7 because of that 7. This is 8. We're getting there. Uh, 6 and 9, 8, 7, 8. And that's the solution. It's a little bit of a longer one. Um, working through the variant in that one takes a little more thought. Um, working through the digits from low to high and seeing there are different reasons why certain arrow cells can't be a particular digit. Um, we saw with the edges, you're limited in how high the digit can be because you don't have all that many cells to work with. Um, within a box, you can't have repeats, so that limits how low uh, at least this arrow can be. I don't think there are any others like that. Uh, this one as well. Uh, all the others immediately cross the border. Um, in this case, we ruled out five because there was already a two here. Um, so yeah, nice variety of deductions and just a nice working our way up from one to seven, ultimately. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.